Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the pencil mode and pooling MIDI in Reaper. Now to get to the pencil mode, we're going to hold down a modifier. On PC, it's Control. On Mac, it's Command. Hold it down, and our cursor changes to a pencil. Now if nothing is selected, and we drag, it's going to create a blank MIDI item. Right here, which we could double click and add MIDI right over here by drawing it in. But where it gets interesting is if we select an item first. So let's delete this. Let's scroll over. And over here, I have a MIDI item and an audio item. If we select one of these first and we go into pencil mode, we'll be copying those items into other places. So let's start with audio. If I select right here on this piano, and then I move over to bar 10, hold on the modifier, I could draw in a copy of this piano, just like this. And if you notice, with snapping turned on, it's gonna automatically snap. Select it, it's from bar seven to nine, go to bar 11 and drag it from 11 to 13. And if the original item loops, like this one does, these are loops. When we use the pencil mode and copy it, it'll also loop. So you can select it, go to bar 10, drag it, and it starts to loop after two bars, which is how the original loops. And it's gonna work the same way on MIDI items. Select it, go to bar 10, and we could draw in a copy of that same item, which is also gonna loop. These are loops. Now by default, it's gonna copy from the beginning of the item. If you don't want that, just move your cursor where you want the start point to be. So if I put the cursor at bar eight, now if I drag over here with my pencil tool, it copied starting from here but then it loops back to the beginning. But the starting point is where the cursor is. And the same thing for audio. Put the cursor over here, drag over here, and it starts from where the cursor started. Now with this modifier, it's gonna to snap to our grid because snapping is turned on. But if we wanna turn snapping off, just add shift to the modifier. So on PC, it's going to be Control and Shift. On Mac, it's going to be Command and Shift. Just select an item, put on the modifier, and we can drag it any place we want. And it's going to start where we place it, not necessarily on the grid. And the same with audio. It's going to start where we place it. Now it gets really interesting if we want to pull our MIDI. Let me show you what that means. Let's play this track right here, which is a drum part and a piano. Now let's make a copy of both of them. Let's select this one and this one. Then we can go over here to bar 10, hold on the modifier, drag the drum part and the piano, and it's gonna sound exactly the same. But if we turn the hi-hat off on the original one, let's select the hi-hat and delete it. It's not gonna play anymore. That hi-hat's gone. But only on the first one. On the second one, the hi-hat is still there because these two items are no longer connected. They were copied from each other, but now they're separate items. But if you want that connection, we could pull them. So let's undo that, back to our original. Let's go into our preferences and scroll down under editing behavior to mouse modifiers. And if we choose the track context and left drag, here are the modifiers that work with our pencil tool. 
It's basically called draw. So with this one, it draws a copy of the selected item, which is what we've been doing. With this one, with shift added, it does the same thing, ignoring snap. But with these two down here, by adding an alt on the PC or option on the Mac, it's going to pull the MIDI items. So on the PC, hold on Alt and Control. And on Mac, hold on Option and Command. Turns to a pencil tool. But now if we drag it from here to here, these items are pooled. See the icon up there? So these two items are now connected. Let's do the same thing with the piano. But then notice, it makes the copy, but they're not pooled. Pooling only works for MIDI. So now this one is going to sound the same as this one. But now if we delete things on the original, the same thing's going to happen on the copy because they're connected. So let's delete that hi-hat. Play it. There's no hi-hat. And it's the same thing on the pooled copy. So these things are going to match no matter what, even if we edit them. We can fade this one in, fade this one out. We can split this one, delete a piece of it. But they're still connected. So if I go back to this one and change the snare into a slap, like that, the same thing happens to these two pieces. Even though they're edited completely different from the original. We can do the same thing over here. Split it in a few parts, delete this one and this one, but they're still linked up. So that's the benefit of pooling versus just copying it. Let's put it back. And again, if you want to ignore snap, add shift to the modifier. But do the same thing. Select it, alt control and shift on the PC, option command and shift on the Mac. And we can place it anywhere, ignoring snap. But it's going to still pull. And it's also going to pull if we select in the middle of an item. So if we zoom in and start right over here, that's where it's gonna copy from. So I can hold down the modifier and it's still gonna pull, but it started where the edit cursor is. Instead of the beginning. So it's a pretty powerful feature. Now, there's one other thing I should show you. This really comes in handy if we combine it with the Project Media Effects Bay. If we open this up, all the media items in our project are going to show up here. Or the source media. Let's use the media items. So let's say we're in a section where we can't get to the original. We're all the way over here, maybe on a different track, but we know we want to put drum beat one at bar 36. We can just select it from here and do the same thing. Hold on the modifier, drag it over. Now that item is right there. Same thing with the piano, just select it from here, draw it in. We have that same part later on in the song. It's very useful to combine it with the Project Media Effects Bay. So anyway, that's the pencil mode and pooling MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.